I don't buy new cars, I don't buy brand names, I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money, I like to find bargains, it's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. How y'all doing? Well, I survived day one. Woo-wee! I was doing just fine, you know. Not having no cigarettes, not having no tobacco. Everything was good till my wife got home. Lord of mercy, she walked in the door talking a hundred mile an hour. And I was like, where's my damn cigarettes? <laughs> but I made it. I made it. That's the hardest part. That's the hardest part right there. If you can get past that first 24 hours. And I will tell you that if I had the tobacco here, I don't know that I could have resisted. I mean, I'm just being honest with you folks. We're in this battle together. Those of you that want to get on the fat train and take a ride to Skinnyville, here we go. <laughs> anyway, we're going to take this fat train all the way down to Skinnyville. We're going to, we're going to totally transform ourselves. And the thing of it is, there's a whole bunch of people out there that said, if you'll buy my product, if you'll do, if you'll buy this from me, if you'll buy that from me. Well, see, I, shoot, I'm going to show you how it's done for free. We're going to do it together because y'all have been so nice. You loaded up my episode one with uh, all the encouraging words, and that meant a lot to me. I really appreciate that. You know, it's funny. You can, you can have friends that you personally know face to face, but it seems like the nicest people are the, are the ones out there that you'll never ever see. Unless, uh, unless you win the lottery and <laughs> then they all come out and hey brother, hey cousin. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, I want to, I want to tell you how, how day one went, what I consumed. I even ate taters and gravy. I'm going to tell you about that. What I'm working on is uh, I'm going to work on some some recipes where you can have a, a 100 calorie serving or less, because not everyone out there I, I realize may like boiled eggs and vegetable juice. I, I totally understand that, but uh, uh, so I want to I want to show you some some different ways that we're going to get in here and and uh, cut back, that, and that's the main thing. Y'all don't have to be as drastic at this as I am. I mean, I'm going in there to show you that it can be done. I mean, that's that's my goal. I'm going to say, look here, I said it can be done. I'm going to prove it to you. And that's why I'm here. I hope I don't live to eat my words. <laughs> but anyway, uh, uh, just just watching me and, 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 and being in this roller coaster together, you know, uh, Maybe it'll help help motivate you a little bit, you know. And if you can see a big old fat man that you see how much I like to eat, if you can see me do it, then maybe that'll give you the encouragement that, hey, he ain't nobody special. He's just a regular person. Ain't got no celebrity uh, body trainers and all that. Just trying to use good common sense. And that's all it is. And the main thing about any diet is if you're hungry, it ain't going to work. I mean, let's face it, if you're hungry, how in the hell are you going to be, how, how can you stay on a program? I mean, oh, I'm hungry, and what are you going to do? You're going to eat. So that's the first thing is make sure we ain't hungry. I got up this morning, first thing I did, I grabbed a piece of 12 grain, 100% whole wheat, all grain, whatever bread. It's 110 calories. Didn't matter. It's right around that 100 calorie mark. Got my cup, cup of coffee and check my 
uh, email and stuff while I was sitting there nibbling on that whole wheat bread, which I really like. And uh, it's almost like eating some peanuts because it's got all them grains and it. it's really good. So anyway, let, let me tell you what I did yesterday. Now, of course, y'all realize episode one, I filmed it like at three o'clock in the morning. And out of all fairness, please understand that was the end of the day where I've been drinking water all day and coffee all day. So uh, I'm sure I was bloated up on water because I weighed myself this morning and I was considerably less. I'm not going to report my actual poundage until one week. Every week I'm going to check in because you don't need to worry about day-to-day -day fluctuations. This is something that's going to work over the course of time. You didn't get to be overweight overnight. Let's face it. If you need to lose 20 pounds, you didn't gain 20 pounds in a week. Well, I did gain 15 pounds one week. I won a cruise. Me and my wife went on a cruise, and all we did was eat, sleep, and have sex. And there was a whole lot of eating going on. <laughs> oh, my God, they had breakfast, lunch, supper. They had midnight snacks or midnight whatever. Anyway, it was good. I gained 15 pounds in seven days, and I liked every bit of it. Every time the waiter would come around to service, he'd serve me first. I would consume that course, and by the time he served the whole table, he'd come around, he took the empty plates and another one in front of me. So I was eating twice what everybody else was eating, and I loved every bit of it. Oh, but I guess it wasn't very good for me, was it? Anyway, uh, I, uh, I got up, you know, I can't sleep after the sun comes up. I mean, my goodness. You know, no matter how late I stay up, so it really messes with me. But anyway, I had throughout the course of the day, and this is every hour on the hour, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boiled eggs throughout the course of the day. I had a half a I had a half a steamed potato and gravy twice. And I had a nice slice of bread. Now, that don't sound like a whole lot of food, and it's not. But the, but the neat thing is, it was like, oh shit, it's already another hour, I gotta eat again? I mean, if you'll do this, you won't be hungry. You will not be hungry. I mean, every single hour you're putting something in your belly, not to mention, go ahead and drink water, drink some uh, unsweetened tea, drink coffee, you know. Anything like that, anything to put something in your stomach is going to make you feel, you know, a, feel full. But, <clears throat> you know, I had some comments, guys saying, I don't know, man, if I could stick with it on, on that. And other people said, well, I don't know about boiled eggs. And, well, let me tell you about the potato. Now, my wife brought in a bag of potatoes, and I looked at, you know, how many calories, and it said, on average, each potato was 110 calories. I said, okay. Well, a tablespoon of flour is 28 calories. And a teaspoon of lard is 40 calories. So that whole potato, a tablespoon of flour and a teaspoon of lard to make some gravy, use water to make gravy, is only 178 calories. And man, you put some salt and pepper on there, and that tastes pretty darn good. So what I did is I just took that, cut it in half, and I had one half at the top of the hour. Went about doing my business, come back, ate that other half, and it was just nice just to have a little something different. So I've rambled enough. I just want to tell you you can do it. Now check out the easy way to peel an egg. I'm going to try to have a little something for you on every episode besides me talking about being a fat ass, okay? But anyway, I want you to check out this easy way to, to peel an egg. I'd seen it somewhere on YouTube myself, and I want to share it with you if you hadn't seen it. And uh, we'll be right back. How many of you have seen this trick? You know, one of the aggravating things to do is, is uh, when you boil eggs, peeling them, sometimes they don't peel real well. And believe it or not, the ones that are the hardest to peel are the freshest. Yep. 
A real fresh egg is real hard to peel. The, the shell doesn't separate from the egg as much. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was this little trick right here. I've got a, this is actually a plastic peanut butter jar. I've got about half full of water. Got an egg, a hard boiled egg in the shell. We'll drop it in there. Seal it tightly. Just shake a little out of it. There you go. One peeled egg. How about that, huh? Very cool. Very cool in there. That's just slickers not on doorknob, I think. Hey, wasn't that cool? I mean, that was really neat. Yeah, the, the, the shell just stays right there. And the water stays helping to cushion it. And it could be a glass jar. Anyway. Uh, the one other thing I want to tell you is how I cook that potato. I take, I take my potatoes with the peel still on them. And I have a little scrub brush that I bought at Dollar Tree. I made sure it was a different color than all the rest of them in my kitchen. Because it's my vegetable scrub brush. And I just wash it, and I scrub it real good, make sure it don't have any dirt on it. I put it in a Ziploc bag, or I put it in a, in a, uh, like a Tupperware type container. You know, there's disposable ones made by Glad and everybody else. But anyhow, if it's a, if it's a snap top com container similar to Tupperware, I will not seal it because it'll go boom. But you just, you just want to hold the steam in. And if I put it in a Ziploc bag, I don't zip it shut. I just put it in there and I roll it, I roll it over so it's sitting on itself, sitting on the bag, but steam can escape as it builds up pressure. And I pop a potato in there for three or four minutes. You'll learn in your microwave how long it takes to cook yours. But I just pop it in there for three or four minutes. Potato comes out, it's cooked. And then if I, hey, if I want to, I can brown it off in a skillet, you know, add a little bit of lard. Remember I'm saying lard, I'm not saying uh, oil or shortening. A little bit of lard and hell, have some fried taters. You can do it on this diet. And now I'll start showing you that kind of stuff. Anyway, I've rambled enough. I want to thank y'all so much for being here with me. I mean, it means I, it means so much to me. And would you, would you share my videos? If there's a video of mine that you like, would you share it? You know? And, and ask those people to share and on and on and on. I, uh, that's the only that's the only payment, I guess you might say, that I'm asking for my time is please share my videos with your friends and uh, help grow my channel. I, I have met so many nice people. And uh, a shout out, I'll uh, be giving a shout out to some people in some other countries. I think they're military because I saw them in Bahrain and uh, in Qatar. So I'll bet you... I've got some uh, fellow uh, Air Force people out there. Don't know. Or Army. Have a wonderful day. And a better tomorrow. Bye-bye.